Hello, just good your weeks back from the review and today we're reviewing the Stagecoach Escape Lone Ranger set. It is set number 79108. It's Mechanic for ages 7 to 14. It has 279 pieces, 5 minifigures, and in the US it retails for $30. I did get this from Walmart.com and now let's take a look at the packaging. So here's the packaging for the set. It is a long box and it's the same size as the Desert Skiff set and I think the Golden Dragon set from Ninjago. And here is the back, it shows all the play features, and it does come with one pretty lengthy instruction booklet. So here's the Lone Ranger figure, and he does have two guns like the full other ones, and this is the same version as in all the other sets, except the Mind set. And here's Tonto, and it's the same version in all the other sets, except the Mind set, and of course Cavalry Builder, because it doesn't come in there. And here's his back, and of course you can take off his little headpiece, and it reveals his face, which does have two sides, that's the front side and then the back side. This specific version does come with this little stopwatch, which is pretty cool. So here's Jesus over Jesus, and he is one of, I guess, the bad guys in the set. And he does have some nice torso printing, but the leg printing is the same as some of the other sets. And here's the back, and he is exclusive to this set, and you can take off his hat and, of course, his little scarf there to reveal his face. And I'm not sure if the face is exclusive to um, the Lone Ranger theme, but here it is right there. You can see he's kind of like grinning. So here's Barrett, and I think he's exclusive to his set. I'm pretty sure he's not the guy from um, Colby City, but I have to check on that again. And he does have some nice back printing and torso printing. And he does come with one of the Lone Ranger's hats, but instead in black, which is kind of like the same thing in the Colby City set. And here's Red Harrington, and she is probably the best figure of the Lone Ranger line. I mean, she's just amazing. I love her torso printing and leg printing. We'll get up to that later. And here's her back printing, and she comes with this little, I guess, um, I'm not really sure what it is. It's not really a skirt, but like a cape, but for her legs. And here is her face, and you can see that right there, and a better look at her torso. And then she does have some back printing, and so she's just phenomenal. And then she does come with um, her headpiece, which is two pieces, and it is exclusive to the set. And here it is without everything on it. You can see there's just some nice detail on the like mold right there. And then here's her little hat, and you could stick the hat on like friends' headpieces and stuff like that, because there's that little peg right there. So here's the whole set, and there is this little horse and a stagecoach, and now let's take a look at the close-ups. So here's the front of the carriage, but before we get into that, I want to show this little horse, and I guess it's a bad guy's horse, but basically here's a 360, and it's just a basic horse, and there's some weapons on the side of it, and that's just a cool throw-in. So there's three horses all together in the set, then there's these two black horses, and there's the front right there and the other side. And they connect to the actual stage coach itself with this little joint right here. And there is this, um, I guess, uh, rope. So you can put it right here on top. And basically it attaches to there kind of like loosely. And here are the wheels. There's two um, small wheels and then two big wheels on the back. And there's just a lot of detail on the bottom itself. There's a little part right there. And then on the other side of the, um, of the stagecoach, there's some stuff right there. And then you could actually look at the bottom, and this is kind of the part that was a little bit annoying to me, but I couldn't fit like this little Texas the Technic axle into this hole right here, so it was kind of annoying me. But here's the bottom, and basically that's how you take off the stagecoach part. And you see that you stick that part right there, I don't know if you can see that, but right here. And you stick it into this hole, but it would just be so loose, so... And it just started breaking a few times. So that was a little bit annoying, but it's all okay. And then, here's the actual, I guess, um, coach of the stage coach. And you can see there's some really cool detail right here on stickers. And, of course, you can easily take it apart. There's the bottom part right there. And the other side. And basically, there's stickers all around. Some right there, and then some right here. And there's this little play feature right here where there's a compartment where you put a suitcase, and I'm guessing the suitcase is important. But if you press this, the little compartment opens, and then the suitcase comes out. So that's pretty cool. Nothing really special, but still pretty cool. Then the front, you could sit a minifigure right there, and I'm pretty sure on the box it showed Tonto driving it. So you just stick him on there. And there you go. And so he fits on there pretty well. Then on the top, there is this little, um, I guess, uh, safe. And the safe is really cool because inside it actually does come with a gold, a silver bar, like the one in the Colby City set. And you can see that right there. And 
There's actually a 2x2 two two tile in gold, and I haven't really seen that. And it's pearl gold, but it's still pretty cool inside there. So that's a really actually cool piece. You see that right there? And inside the actual stagecoach, you could open these doors, and I guess stick a minifigure inside, and you can take off the top and fit a few minifigures. And inside, there's actually a few stickers. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they're really just cool stickers that show kind of like cushions in the stagecoach. So that's all cool. And you could, I guess, stick um, Red Harrington right there. There's no seats in there, but the studs are still like showing, so you can put her on the base of the ground of the stagecoach. And that's really it for the set, and also on the top of the roof, I didn't show this, but there's a little um, sack with a mail in it. So that's really just a cool addition, and that's it for the set, and now it's the final verdict. Overall, I think this is just an amazing set. Probably the best set of the um, Lone Ranger line, just because of its price and the minifigures in it. I love Red Harrington, I think she's an awesome minifigure. And the, stage, the stagecoach itself is well designed. And I really can't find any flaws in this set, except maybe there should have been at least like 21 more pieces, so it could have reached the price to piece ratio. And of course, no set is perfect, so I do rate the set a 9.75 out of 10. Just a little bit off from being perfect, and only a few sets get that rating. So that's it for this set, um, for this review. I'll see you guys later. Bye.